Hello everybody, my name's Dan Loadable, and today is a very bittersweet occasion, as I am doing Octodad. However, this will be the last Octodad, unless they come out with any other shorts and mini missions, because this is the final one. In his final outing today, Octodad will be working in a hospital to some extent, and whether that's doctor, nurse, admin, some sort of terrorist, I don't know all I know that... Uh, if you combine Surgeon Simulator and Octodad, there's going to be some sort of melding of many tentacles and chest cavities, so things will probably be quite messy. Good ho. If you have stuck with me for this long throughout all the rest of my Octodad videos, I thank you. This has been quite a sprawling series, and I have enjoyed doing it. Uh, I think through its uh, nonsensical nature, this has been probably one of my more popular series. And um, I'm sad to see that this is the end of them, but hopefully we can make this a fun one. So we'll go out on high. And watch my other ones. This short is called Medical Mess. I'm not good at Octodad. And if you've looked at my channel and seen any of my Surgeon Simulate videos, you'll know I'm pretty terrible at that too. So let's see what hijinks can occur. Um, Tommy, what's this story about? Good question. Well, this is a story about Dad. Is it now? And oh, and I have control he's already. In a wrestling ring. Wrestling ring, yes. Mm, What's that? No, no. I think he's I'm at the prefer hospital. wrestling ring. Wrestling ring nurse. would be better. I'm a nurse. Uh, Shut up, lame. nurse. Okay. Why can't he be a doctor? No. Can I have some tasty snack food. foods? I don't know what they are, but I like them. Fine. Get to the so nurse's goes station. Goes to the Wait, nurse other ties in this? Because they might be under the. They're probably not under the. the. That needs to go up there. It's affecting the feng shui of the room. I'm glad you agree. Thank you for not arguing. Why is there a picture of me as Santa? Hello there. I need 10 cc's of ink. Stat. Or stare at me blankly. That seems to be your preferred thing. There's my number one dad mug. What's going on? Is this a nurse's station? I'm assuming this is, and I'm being a freaking idiot. Let's get in. It looks like a nurse's station. If Scrubs has ever taught me anything. Hey, look. Is that me? I think that's me. That's me. All right. Find the patient records. Are they in this? Probably. Yeah. Yes, Dad. I had to go help all the patients. Help my patients. All right. All right. All right. All right. Alright, 203. I think that's it. But I cannot find the. <laughs> Thank you. Bloody hell, the camera zoomed out too and much. Hi. Dad met a patient who was sad and weird. Hello, dear. It's bad, isn't it? Oh no! Oh no, is it Charles? Lucoria? No, you the have Macarena? a clipboard you in your face. Blood pressure to find out. There's an easy cure. Done. Find the. Fill the pressure meter. Even what. Ah, oh, the. You mean this fake no manometer? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, I, I was trying to grab that bubble thing, not, um. Sorry. Ugh. Well, if I keep pumping, they will explode. Check her eyes. D Ow. Wait, I don't have a tool. Oh, right. Flashlight. <laughs> I will need to check your skull as well, as you just got hit by a piece of IKEA furniture. Ugh. It's kind of different to being hit by regular furniture, as there will be a bit of your skull left over that I do not know what to do with. Am I blinking enough? I feel like I'm not blinking enough. You remind me of someone. What is it? Oh, give it to me straight, nurse. Right on the board. Ah, oh, cool. Why do I get to write? You, uh... On the whiteboard. I will try. Oh, what? no! I, see I was trying to write death. Unicornitis. Yes. Unicornitis. Well, I was trying to write death, but you can have that if you want. Oh well, that's not so bad. Thanks, nurse. Away. <laughs> oh, right. People afflicted with unicornitis. <laughs> what the fuck? I know this one is, you know, the 
story that the kids are saying, so it's going to be a little bit weird. But holy moly, this is. This one guy I think this jerk. point they just well, gave up time. trying to have any semblance of story to sort. What daft nurse. shit can we do? It's just your bed. I see you have an affliction that makes you unable to say the word please. How do I adjust the bed? Where are the bed controls? Where are the. What? Why am I in a chair? <laughs> Pain chart. Painless. So, right? It's bad. Tur bad. Hurts so good. Oh, yeah. Right. I don't. Is it this? No. No. Is it the thing Mike blooping all? No. How do I adjust your. This? Can I. How do I adjust your. Oh. These melon slices aren't just gonna jump into my mouth. They might do. You don't know. With your hands? Are you an animal? Oh, this shit again. It's like the magic salad bowl in a fucking hell. Don't close your eyes. That just makes this weird. Mm. Mm. What if I jab you in the leg? Will that shut you up? Why are you eating melon anyway? Mm. Why are you eating it without the fucking skin taken off? Rind, flesh, skull, whatever you want to call it. I'm bored. Give me a book. I'll get you a book. Maybe. Where are the books? I need 10 cc of book. Stat. <laughs> Don't fall. <laughs> Use the rails. Is there a waiting room through? <laughs> yes, there's a waiting room through, through here. What I meant to say. Is there a book? There is. But he might like some flowers. Oh, my mortal enemy. The door frame. I'm trying to barricade it with my legs. What is occurring? Woo! Yeah, wow! <laughs> well, at least I'm in the right place. But generally, if you're sent on a simple task like gathering a book and you end up with chair legs in your lungs, you're done fucked up. Already. I'm switching well, right up. Pissing at you, rude bastard. Right, where exactly? Oh, there it is. Some new blooping hole. Or a tap. Would you like a tap? Is that what you're asked for? Do you want a tap? No? I hope this is hand soap, you wretched human being. Roundhouse. Have now some blue on your, your head. Face. Um. Excuse me, sir. There's some physics behind you. Not really sure what's that. Ah, it moved. Run away. I have more patience to deal with. And apparently a chair that... Ugh, calisthenics. Mm. Okay. Right. 201. Limes. Someone's going to have scurvy. Are they not? Scurvy? Anyone? Right then. 201. Get off the counter, old Toadad. Also, if people could leave feedback on how the audio sounds on this one, I would be much obliged. As I um, jerry rigged myself a tiny little windscreen on my headset to try. Good morning, Mr. Nurse. Oh, a nice person. If it's not too much trouble, yes. would you mind fluffing my pillow and turning oh, off the television? I can. I will try at any rate, and apparently I'm going to try and get into bed. <laughs> nope. There we go. How do I turn off the power? TV first. Oops. Well, don't confuse me by... It's off. Um... Thank you. you. Fetch me some donuts from the waiting room, please. Donuts, yes. Some money to buy oh. them. Okay. Thank you. Why do you have cash in your in mind? Ah! It's in my lungs. <laughs> Good grief, Lou. Anyway, I have kind of jerry rigged a windscreen for my headset to try and deal with some of the extraneous oh. noise I don't really want going on. In my record. Oi. Ah! What now? Not flowers. That's not the answer. Lamp is not the answer. It Stop picking up. That I'm pointing that way. You had that coming. You just stood there and watched, you cock splash. Alright. Uh, seriously, Octodad. Stop! Honestly, I'm pointing at that, and every time I do, and I hit a button, he thinks 
I'm asking him to reach across the room and get something else, because that's apparently what I wanted him to do. I'll give you a little hint here, people. It's nothing like what I wanted him to do. What? Do I have to? Oh, I forgot I'm an octopus. <laughs> Whoops. Give me that. No, the donuts are coming out. <laughs> I just want the donuts. I want them so bad. My hand is actually clipped through the glass. Good. Nom. If you could wait there, little donut. No, stop grabbing individual donuts. That's really not what I was after. Stop picking them up. Oh, good grief. Right. One pack of whatever you are. Mac and cheese. We'll say it's mac and cheese. It's probably cornflakes. Ugh. Stop picking up individual items. Give me... That. It's so close. It's... Da, da, da. Infinite donut bag. Worth the money. Not worth the toll on my frickin' spirit and throat. Here you go, Thank darling. You so much. Take donuts to the face. What now? He That's a good question, one now. Huh? Not two or two or two or whatever. Oh. oh, but I have ter terrible telephone manner. Where are we? Oh, I was about to say, where is the phone? It's right there. Excuse me, sir. I'm under a chair. Give me a second. And on the phone blub, blub, blub. Is Dad's long lost brother. Blub, blub. Dad, it's your long lost brother. I've got terrible news. For you. <laughs> One of your patients is going into cardiac arrest. How do you know this? Who Patient are you? Alert in room 205. I don't know who you are. I don't know how you got this number. But I will find you, and I will awkwardly cartwheel around your room and destroy your furniture. Oh, get the patient on the gurney. Oops. Who? Two or what? I wasn't listening. I was too busy trying to make a taken reference. It's all gone wrong. Nurse, this is not the time. What? Oh, him. Oh, that's all right then. Come on, sir. Back in the bed. You're okay? Yeah, that doesn't look at all painful. I'm sure that's the least of his problems, along with chair clipping through his head and the world's most violent vibrating bed. Getting to get him to the prep room? I don't think I can get him on this plane of existence. He's flash vibrated his way through. Okay. Come on. Come on, you bull bag. And if I leave my keys in you, I'm going to be so pissed. Someone has left furniture everywhere. Oh, he looks the fine. Dad faced a most fearsome challenge. What? A door! Oh, have I got to get them? Uh, step in your face, that's fine. I don't know what I'm trying to do to him. I think it's on page 60 of the Kama Sutra. I don't really know. I... <laughs> I'm just trying to snap his leg neck with my legs. What's going on? Like that Bond girl. Yeah, 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 yeah. See you, friend. Good I'm sure you'll be fine. There was a crowbar there to crowbar the door ah, yes. It'll be Gordon Freeman of the Squid World. That's half life, more sea life. Ha! Ah, that's right. Head crabs beware. You are in safe tentacles, my friend. See those giant needles? I get to use them. Would a dangerous needle really be that big? No. What? That didn't make sense. Wash your hands. Why well, start now? All right then. Give man anesthesia. Hit him on the head, you say. Why is it rolling around? Hi. Where'd that crowbar come from? How'd it get in the door? Why is that moving? Oh, dear. Okay. Get him on the OR table. He's definitely going to need some help sooner than later. 
Oh, that wasn't sent. Oh, come on, IV stand. All right. Maybe I should move that away from the table. Come on. Woo! Dance with me. Oh, that's like I've seen that day dancing. I'm sure that's how it happened, right? Patrick Swayze picked her up and swung around his head. <laughs> I'm fairly certain that's exactly how it happened. <laughs> uh, Paige Dr. Nigel. I can do it. How do I page Dr. Nigel? Oh, right, the page machine. You have pressed all the buttons. I have. Please try again. How? Page again? Yes. <laughs> One more time. Okay. Let's go for that. 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 Dr. Nigel. Dr. Nigel to the operating room. Wait for Dr. Nigel. By which I assume you mean dick around. And then the doctor came in, and he was famous. His name was And I've got Boyce. defib. Nigel! I will defib or potentially iron his ankles. I don't know which. Oh, x-ray the patient. Oh, but there's a bed in the way. How did that happen? Can I thank you? No, maybe you should stay there, friend. It's okay, I'll bring it to you. Kachunk. Here you go. Are you x-rayed yet? I know how to x-ray. <laughs> oh, the button on the back might help. You'll be fine. It was that particular portion of your neck and skull I had to x-ray, right? Bring Nigel a scalp. Oh, I see. So none of you have manners. Well, scalpel, I've got a fork and a screwdriver. So what are we going to do about this? And a mallet, of course. Don't forget the mallet. Is that what you want? Wrong tool. Find a scalpel. Maybe it's back through here. I won't ever know, though, because some parts have left things everywhere. Uh, ah, that's a scalpel. Come here. I need you. Bring Nigel a scalpel. I will as soon as I get over this sink, apparently. Woo! Now, I am a little bit... There you go. A little bit sad that this is the last Octodad short, so this will... This will be my... Bone saw. Bone saw on the ground. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, that's a good question. In a box somewhere? Of course. In that bag of... Or box of sharps and things I shouldn't touch. Okay. That's fine. Yeah. Bed. Bed, fuck off. Bed. Get off my leg. Stop it, bed. Heal. No. Wait, no. Go away. Fetch. Run. Leave me alone. Fucking haunted. Uh. uh what was that saying? Oh, yeah. It's sad that this is going to be the last one of these I do. Because I have enjoyed Dr. Dad. There's a free mode and probably challenges. There is co-op, but I only have the one controller. If I got a second one... I could have, I think, someone control the arms and someone control the legs, which I imagine would be hilariously awful. There you go. Then it was time for surgery, and Dad had <laughs> all up in some guts. Yes, he did. I don't know, Stacy. Dad grounded me for a week after my last story. Why? What did you say? Sports Johnson and the zombie hurricane. <laughs> zombie <laughs> hurricane. It was I s my yeah, The thing is, that's a joke. But, you know, Sharknado and Sharknado 2 are things that exist. <laughs> Baby, it don't hurt me. So um, now no. the surgery can begin. Oh, yeah. Hand him a tool. Have have some kitchen roll? Is that what it is? I don't know. Personal space. And Nigel a tool. Uh, I don't know where my arms are, Nigel. So we've got a bit of a problem here. I'm going to move the x-ray thing because it's getting on my nerves. Open the chest plate. Yes. Yes, Doctor, I shall do this. Surgeon simulator be damned. How? He's got his big old... Big old face in the way. Have I just got to yank out every bit of his innards? It is like surgeon simulator. 
Because I, but the way you do things in Surgeon Simulator, you got fucking elastic bands and noodles for arms anyway. It's pretty impossible to do it anything. I, I still have to finish Surgeon Simulator, as with a lot of my series. Is here you go. Head about the kitchen room. Oh, did him. So broken, it goes crazy flying around the room, and then all his arms and legs go oh. all over the place. No. You're a pretty violent kid. Catch that heart. It's broken. Why do you want that one back? I'm in a desk again or something. How do I get inextricably freaking linked in every piece of furniture ever devised by man? Hey, come back. Catch that. Why, why would you choose to bounce into the bit where every other thing is? I'll come back. I don't want that. I don't want to be on that table. Neither does he, I imagine. I can't move my leg. Where is that floppy fucker? That, come back. No, not the chair. Why would I be wanting the chair? Yes. There you go. That's a lot bigger than it was. Like, smaller, even. Yeah, attach the robot limbs. Oh. I, my work goes unappreciated. Have a thing. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> Get out of it. Hi, sorry. <laughs> it's my first day. They said report to janitorial, but someone gave me some scrubs, and I didn't want to make waves. So, here I am. I was a waiter yesterday. Where's the, where's the other limb? What did I do with that? Where's it gone? Guy's not a robot anymore. Oh, he's still got it, has he? Hey, good job you changed now, friend. If you if you weren't a robot about a minute ago, you'd have been all kinds of soup. Oh, Tifid. He's dying. Come on. Is he good? Dr. Nigel. Ow. I got something for you. Boop. Is it good? High five. Pacha. And then dad and the famous doctor high five. Yes, we did. And then we spooned. No, we didn't spoon. Okay. Uh, more than once. No one else. Fucking fiddly. And because I don't have hands, it's really inconsiderate of you. You are... What's the word? Discriminate I'm so angry I can't speak. Discriminate Well you low five him, you did it once. Pound it? No. Put patient in wheelchair. Why wheelchair over there? Need wheelchair. There you go. Dad brought the not a robot anymore patients back to his room safely. That will not happen. He may get there, but the safe part is really beyond the realm's possibility at this stage. I mean, for one, he was transmuted into a robot, I'd say... Safety kind of went out the window a while ago. His arms went everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. Ah! I'm fairly certain I shouldn't be getting oversteer on a wheelchair. There we go. Alright. Uh, fun fact, uh, for the first few seasons of... O-R... E-R, even. They didn't actually have any actors, it was all sea life. George Clooney was actually a halibut. And, uh... There was actually no whale, to begin with. It was a massive sperm whale. Stop laughing at sperm. Good lord. What are you even inexorably caught on now and dragging you sideways? Did the... Bring the... Is what I'm trying to do. But uh, the there dad caught unicornitis from that alien. Oh unit, no! And the only cure for unicornitis is getting shot in the face. Jet skis. So oh, he okay. bought us some sweet jet skis. The end. Yes. Well, that was more of a. I really should have paid attention at the beginning to the bit along the bottom saying Tommy and Stacy make up a story about their dad. Uh, and also, I took 23 minutes 22 seconds and the dev time was 8.35. But, whatever. Um, 
That kind of fizzled out. I was expecting more of that as that was the final one. I mean, I don't know if there'll be any more in the future. I sure hope there are, because I like this game. It's fun. I get angry, but it's silly. It's a good giggle. But that is it for Octodad and myself. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. I hope you enjoyed this series. Um, my throat may not have enjoyed it, but I certainly did. So if you did, pop a like down below, share, comment, subscribe, do all those other things. There are links in the description to my playlist of other videos, including Octodad, and other sorts of things where I either get terrified or really angry, so that should be entertaining at least. So until next time, thanks for watching, and toodaloo! One of them ones with keys. What? Shut up, fuck off. Yes, I'm aggressive at games. What of it? Okay, only she had a face flash, right? Okay. Well, whatever horrible clattery ghost was making noises, apparently it has a proclivity to slashing paintings, so that's fun. That's not at all worrying. What are you going to do with a real person? <laughs>